Hey, good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the jungle. And we've got a battery review to do today. And this great big box arrived on this pallet. And this is a new battery from Vatter. And there's a, another box inside the big box. And on top, what do we got? Some cables? All right. Looks like the warranty policy, instruction booklet, and a couple of mounting plates. User's manual for a 51.2 volt, 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. Okay, there's our first peek at it. Obviously packed in there, very nice, high density foam all sides at top and bottom and we'll go through this user's manual in a little bit but it's got low temp cutoff protection charging or discharging let's take a closer look at the front of this thing collapsible handles snap right into place or not positive negative terminals Got a smart battery LCD display there. On off switch. I see one empty port here to be something screwed in. Must be the, a mounting plate. Okay, let's turn this on. It does have the Bluetooth app. I've got that downloaded already onto my devices and we'll take a look at that in a minute. But let's turn this on right away. Make sure it's operating before we install it. Screen kicks on, 53% full on arrival. That's about normal. 52.77 voltage. In the app, I did set my temperature for Fahrenheit, which is 78.2 degrees right now. And time to empty the battery. Okay, that'll probably change after we get it tied up. Let's go to page two. You just press it a second time. It's got three pages. We're on page one. Page two. Discharge on and off. They're both... Or discharge and charge. Both on. 100 amp hours. It has had one cycle. I assume that was in testing before shipping. Yeah, status is normal. Let's go to page three. We should see all of the cells pop up. And there we go, all 16 cells. You can see the voltage of all of those. That's a nice feature. 3.29, every cell. Yeah, just got one at 3.3. Bouncing around a little bit, but yeah, they're all Looking very well balanced. 3.29, good. Yeah, nice looking battery. I did look it up to see if there's any special configuration that this has to be in, you know, it had to be laying flat like in a server rack cabinet. It says any position is okay for this battery. So where we're gonna tie it in today, we're gonna leave it in this position. It works well for what I wanna tie up. And it did come with some various stickers, if you're so inclined to put those on anything. And it does come with a 10-year warranty from the date of manufacture. And on the flip side, you just put in your particulars there. And this comes in at 102 and a half pounds, or 46 Point five kilograms. Okay, so yeah, it's got some weight to it. There is nothing on the bottom. Or the left side as it's standing up. Top view, right here. And on the right side, you've got some contact information, 
QR code you can scan and just a couple other precautions there. All right, since it's only 53% full with the power on, of course, let's turn the power off and charge this thing up. So let's hook it up. So we're gonna use this Victron Energy Smart Solar Charge Controller, the MPPT15035. Got 700 watts of solar tied up to this. And the reliable electric 3000 watt, 48 volt pure sine wave inverter. So this was super easy to drop in as a replacement to an existing system where I just yanked the battery out, drop this one in, 14 millimeter M8 terminal bolts, super easy. That's all I had to do is hook up the cables. And looking at the manual right now, uh, the charging voltage they'd like between 56.8 volts and 58.4. So we're gonna go ahead and use the lithium iron phosphate preset for a 48 volt battery with the Victron charge controller, which is 56.8. First thing I did for the charge controller is go in and change the name to 51.2 volt battery. And verify that I've got it for 56.8, which you can see I do right there. 54 volt float. Okay, I like that. But just to make sure that I am everything up and operational, I'm going to turn the inverter on. It should be just fine. And it is. It is now on. Doing fine. It's reading 53.5 volts. And 53.02 on the display. So very, very close. Expect a little discrepancy between devices, but yeah, I like this interface here. This is pretty nice. So I'm not gonna need this. Let's turn this back off on its way to a full charge, which hopefully will be tomorrow. So looking back at the manual, just go over a couple of quick things. Of course, it's 51.2 volt, 100 amp hour, lithium iron phosphate, nominal voltage 51.2, charge voltage 58.4. There's the weight, which we covered, the energy 5,120 watt hours, so a lot of power in there. Max continuous charging current, 100 amps. Same on the discharging current, 100 amps. Recommended charge current, 20 amps. Okay. It actually says it likes a float charging voltage of 55.2. I'm going to leave it at 54 for now. Here's a little description of what you're looking at on that LCD screen on the front of the battery. And here's a look at the app that you can download onto your devices. It has a little bit more information that's than what's on the LCD display. Like for example, that top right shows you the watts coming in right now. Got 1.1 or one amp, but then also shows you 48-ish watts. Not very much coming in, like I said. And then it gives you the, the voltage that was high, the voltage that was low, and the difference between cells. Pretty nice. Temperature and then all of the cells again. So much like what's on the uh, display there, you can see at the top on the battery, but just a couple extra things going on there too. So it's a good app, nice app, very easy to navigate. 